Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. I can't believe it's already Thursday. I know. I was just thinking that this week went by super duper fast. Oh. Uh, got a heavy head. <laughs> Sarah got up earlier than usual. She's getting back into a routine. Mm -hmm. I've had like a calm but weird work day so far. It's only noon. I'm taking like a little bit of a break, like 12, 15 minutes before I start getting ready. I have a one o'clock like, like, um, development meeting with one of the analysts on my team mm -hmm. to work out a new report, but... We're watching some cooking shows, and I'm actually gonna, like, marinate some mushrooms for tacos today. Ooh. Yeah. So as a snack, because we're, we're in the, the beginning stages of, like, really needing to go grocery shopping, but this is just a good, healthy little snack. I'm gonna chop up some of the strawberries for me, Sarah. And this little girl was just knocked out, but then she heard me get rustling with this, so I'm sure she'll want a little piece or two. So here's the marinade that I made for the mushroom tacos. We're gonna have, it tastes so good. I'm gonna just link the recipe because I did not have everything and I kind of had to wing it a bit. She's been my sous chef, but she can't have anything that's in this, so I think she's mad at me. So I'm just gonna throw these mushrooms in. I wish I had more mushrooms, honestly. Um, and then just let it sit until dinner time in the fridge, covered. Hello, it has been hours later. Um, Peter has been on a work call for a long time and I actually got a lot of work done myself, some video editing for a client and um, just a lot of like getting caught up on stuff. So. That is great. I am cooking dinner. I have to show you how much these mushrooms soaked up the marinade. Um, I was hoping on using like what it didn't soak up on the rice, but honestly, like the fact that it it really soaked it up means that they're just gonna be really, really tasty. Um, I'm also gonna make some beans. I'm gonna spunk those up, and then like a cucumber jalapeno salsa to put on top of the tacos. Look at this, like there's no moisture really. I mean, a little bit at the bottom, um, but these are just gonna be really good. I thought that I would have to like separate just the mushrooms, but I'm just gonna fry all of this up. I'm cooking these onions, I'm gonna add in the beans and then just spunk it up with spices and hot sauce. And then the last bit of what I had to make is this cucumber jalapeno salsa that I'll go on top. I made it in a container from an old salsa that we were just about to finish up so I could use some of the tomatoes from that. Um, but then I just put half a lime, like juiced half a lime in there, and then salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm back. I know it sounds dramatic, but I barely survived work today. I went into a call at one o'clock and didn't leave and didn't stop in meetings and calls until about 5.10. Sarah's got a delicious, delicious looking dinner for us to manja on. So Sarah made some fancy beans and these nice mushroom tacos and some rice. It looks so good. Look at that deliciousness. Can't wait to dive in and eat it in four seconds. What did you just say to me? Should I get to No, right it? before that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I throw in a load of laundry? Before, uh... About the tacos? Yeah. I said, those taste like they came from a restaurant, if I do say so myself. Where are we 98% going tonight? City walk. To get? Voodoo donuts. And? Sit. Yes. Somewhere safe. We've been like monitoring everybody who's already been there. And we're going to keep on looking at it before we make our final call. Because like we knew it was going to be crazy at 4. Yes. It's already 5.30. 5.50. And what we're seeing is it's already calmed down. And, and where we want to sit, which is basically by the water, there isn't anybody there. It's just my concern is like the security process. But it should be empty. Yeah. So we're just going to go later. Yeah. And. Like I'm going to read. Sarah's going to yeah. get ready. We have threw it a little laundry. So in like 45 minutes, we'll probably leave. The reason I say that about the tacos too. Oh gosh. The soap. Is because. I am very hard on my cooking a lot of times, yeah, so hard. like for me to like really like it, I really liked it, and I'm not a mushroomy person, and that was so much. 
Get ready, I'm gonna start reading. Okay. But first, look at this mess I just caused. This is a hypothesis of mine. So I remember recently, that is like way too over flooded. Recently, by recently I mean like in the last like four months, one of the dish detergent companies came out with an article, it was like, you, America's been washing dishes with our products wrong for the past 25, 30 years, and you're supposed to let dishes sit while you have dinner in the sudsy water, because it's the suds that break everything down that make it super clean and easy to clean. So a couple of those pans are real dirty, so I'm gonna let them soak in the suds for like 40 minutes while I read my Bob Iger book. Steve Jobs just came in the picture, things are getting intense. Then we're gonna go get some voodoo. Look at these ducks, 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 and birds. Like, they're not used to seeing us. So they're just chilling. They're like, hey, this is our land now. So it's beginning to drizzle, but it looks like just a Florida drizzle. We're at City Walk. I'm gonna see what's going on with the line for Voodoo. Yeah, you all can also mow the order. Yeah. Don't mind Sarah's busted screen, but <laughs> we're doing mobile I don't know order if I Voodoo. have a card on here. What do you want? I think we should do another Portland cream for me. Do you want to share another one? I'm good. I am very, I get full very easy these days. How come there's not a place next to Maple Bar? I think they're out of them. Oh no. Will you add a voodoo? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We've never mobile ordered with Universal no. before. Oh, oh. no card on <laughs> All right, they, we redid it on my phone because we thought my credit card was gonna be on file, but then it wasn't. So here's our mobile order, and they'll let us know when it's ready. Avoid in line. Oh ho ho. There's a universal globe. I'm smiling. Um, it's a gorgeous night out. It's really nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. The drizzling stopped. And it is just beautiful. It was definitely a good call coming later in the evening. Yeah. Remember when we watched the Olympics up there? Mm-hmm. If they weren't if it wasn't because of the virus, we could be watching them like very soon from the same screen. This is where we're hanging out until the donuts are ready. Instead of cracking up on his sand padre now, we brought yeah. these to enjoy with our donuts. Yeah. And they're getting warm, so we're cracking them now. Yeah. Okay, that time lapse would have been longer, but our donuts are ready, so I'm gonna go pick them up and bring them back here. Are we gonna hang out here to eat, or are we gonna go to a different spot? This is our. I like it here. It is a little buggy. Well, I but... think I think we should eat in here because it's not gonna. Let's be honest, it's not gonna take long for us to eat them. Yeah. Okay. This is a little hidden cove. Nobody's coming to bother us. Secret, secrets. Voodoo donuts. So here's the situation. Express pickup. You ready for the reveal? Ooh, hoo, hoo. What? Oh, it's there. I was like, did someone take a bite? His arm just fell off. That's a weird looking voodoo. Yeah. This isn't gonna be my last bite, but this is gonna be a, my last big bite, but look how I plan this perfectly. With that filling, with that choco choco deliciousness. Are you in heaven or what? I will say the only disappointment today is there's no theme park gate music. Yeah. But you're hoping for some of the feels. All I wanted to do was sit in front of Islands of Adventure and listen to that area music. But it's not there. We're going to find another spot to Well, sit. we're going to go and confirm for ourselves. We heard that on social medias. And okay. you know sometimes that's not the truth. I saw a video. But maybe they turned it on by now. You never know. Ooh. The botanists have been busy. <laughs> this is looking gorgeous. Wow. And there's nobody. Oh, there's two people in sight. There's a little bit of a cool breeze, but this reminds me of an HHN night. And oh, I, I think but HHN. I'm here. I know that. That's what's kind of freaking me out. But because there's a cool breeze and it's getting dark, I just want HHN 30. <laughs> I want them to announce houses. Here's the thing, guys. Universal has to still do HHN because they can do it 
They can do it safely. And it's such a money maker for Universal, they have to. Like, I feel I like they have I to. I think I gotta tighten the straps of your mask. Again, yeah. <laughs> it keeps dropping. No music. Yeah, yeah no this lighthouse is, either. This is the new age again. This is just gonna have scare actors running around. <laughs> This is from Ryan and Rose, which Ooh. I really love. Got some packages. We got two packages and a Mother's Day card. Thank you, Ray and Doug, yeah. for your Mother's Day card. We got a little Cassie Aww. teaser for babies without teeth. For grandpa babies. A teether and rattle. Oh, I bet he's not going to like that. Another little. Different color. Sweet. Yeah. Ooh. Another one. I know this is from Cheyenne. Oh. Get it? It's Mickey Mouse. Oh, it is. So it holds the binky and then clips to their shirt. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see. Hopefully, it says who oh, it's from. Yes, from Cheyenne and Riley. Thank Happy you, first Cheyenne Mother's Riley. Day. You guys are so sweet. All right, this package. We don't know what it is. It's from the Ford family. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh gosh. A baby blanket. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That looks this is nice. This is comfy. <laughs> oh. You can even stick your fingers through a little oh. fingers through. Thank you so much. Now right, we're home. We're relaxing. I have a weird like tensiony sinusy headache thing going on. It's been going on all day. So we're just gonna chill. I put on The Patriot because it's on Netflix now, and I'm a huge fan of it. Sarah's never seen it. We will not be watching all of it. I'm all over IMDb because all these people's faces are familiar. That She's never seen it. But I love it, and it's like a really good movie, but also really sad. Yes. And Draco Malfoy's father's in it, so and of course he fights for the British. One in the morning, still not a bit of tiredness in this guy. Today's message is May 14th, quote of the day. So we're halfway through May, which is crazy. May 14th is by Herbert Humphrey. Oh, my friend, it's not what they take away from you that counts. It's what you do with what you have left. Very, very fitting for these times. So Sarah fell asleep hours ago. I love The Patriot. That's a really good movie. Sad, but good. Overall, good, great. Give it a try. It's a long one, though. I want to thank you guys for keeping us company over these past, you know, going over two months now. It's a crazy time, but we need to be supportive of all each other. And even though Sarah and I got to go out today for just those, like, two hours at City Walk, um, and that could be a sign that things are turning around, but we just don't know, and we're not going to know. Even though things like City Walk are opening up and next week Disney Springs, it doesn't mean they're going to stay open. Could mean that they are, could mean parks are opening soon. Nobody knows. And it changes literally, and I know this from personal experience, from my job working in the timeshare industry, that those conversations change from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every single day. Um, but during all this hard times of everybody being so distant from friends, families, and loved ones, I just want to say thank you from us, um, the Burkharts, because you guys have kept us company over these past two months. Um, and we're just really appreciative of each and every one of you, so thank you. But I'm gonna try to get some sleep. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.